According to a royal insider, Archie and Lilibet must earn their titles as prince and princess, which is contrary to how being a royal has always operated. Archie and Lilibet's paternal grandfather is King Charles III, and any offspring born to the king's son or sons are automatically entitled to the titles of prince or princess. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, watching the turmoil around the royal family is as amusing and senseless as a Kardashian's episode. You may recall Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, sitting down with Oprah Winfrey for a candid interview back in 2021. You do, of course, during their conversation, Meghan revealed that the way the royal family handled Archie, the son of her and Prince Harry, was different from procedure. They didn't want him to be a prince since that would go against procedure and he wouldn't have security, she claimed. She simply stated, he's not going to be given a title, to further clarify. In order to clear up any misunderstandings regarding how titles function before we delve too deeply into this, here is an explanation, Archie was granted a courtesy title because Meghan and Prince Harry were the Duke and Duchess of Sussex when he was born. The Earl of Dumbarton would have been this, but M plus H decided against giving him that title. Because of this, he goes by Archie Mountbatten Windsor. Due to existing regulations, the great-grandchildren of the king are not princes and princesses unless they are the children of the direct heir, hence he was not given the title of prince at birth. This explains why the Princess of Wales' children, Prince William and Catherine, have titles such as prince or princess, but all of this was true while Queen Elizabeth II was still alive. Archie is no longer the monarch's great-grandchild as she has passed away. His direct ancestor is King Charles III, and any children born to the king's son or sons are automatically entitled to the titles of prince or princess. However, insiders close to the royal family recently stated in an interview with Vanity Fair that the subject of titles is still up in the air. One has the impression that titles should be earned. The royals need to be confident in their ability to rely on Harry and Meghan to uphold the family's honor. Saying that the titles need to be earned is ludicrous, ignoring the bit about Meghan and Harry hurting the family's reputation since I don't feel like debating you now. It almost seems as though the establishment has forgotten what it is to be a royal. The titles of prince, princess, or queen cannot be attained by an individual. Either you are born into the family or you marry into it. Discussion over. None of them earned their titles, they were all given to them, as one Twitter user put it. And that's not to say that all of the royals haven't lived up to the expectations we may have of them. People who have the title, like Princess Anne, have benefited society and raised funds for charitable causes. She did not, however, merit the title of princess. Earning the title implies that she had to establish her worth before receiving it, having previously lived without it. Which is simply untrue. Users of TikTok expressed their confusion when word of this take became viral online, one commenter wrote, Archie and Lily have earned their titles exactly the same way their grandpa won his title of king. They were created. All that is needed is that? Because I believe that many more people would be putting their names in the hat if royal titles could be won. Another commenter asked how William and Kate's children accomplished that feat if they had to earn it. They are undoubtedly adorable for photos, but is it enough? The New Zealand cyclone forces Princess Anne to change her itinerary for the trip. The Princess Royal and her husband Sir Timothy Lawrence recently had a four-day vacation to New Zealand, which was jam-packed with engagements. Due to Cyclone Gabrielle, which has been described as the nation's worst weather catastrophe in a century, Princess Anne was forced to make last-minute changes to her itinerary for her trip to New Zealand.